Welcome to Morning Glory Farmstead. My name is Lolly, and this channel is all about gardening, animals, and nature. Who wants to run? I'm just trying to clean the bowl out. This has always been one of George's favorite games. George, where's your ball? Ready? Let's get your ball. Y'all, my beagles are almost all mouth all the time. <laughs> George, did y'all see that? He dropped the ball right on Tati's head by accident. Tati, you want to play ball? You play ball? Donka! What are you doing, Donka? For those of you who don't really care for animals, you guys can just fast forward to the green stock part. I can't do any planting until I get all of my green stalks ready. And I've got three that are empty and four that are gonna need to be worked on. Now I still have giant noble spinach growing in one, collards growing in one, garlic in one, and then the box stock, which is dedicated to just my chickens, it needs to be cleaned out and revamped so that I can grow some more greens for them. So this is gonna be a big work day. I'm gonna see how far I get and then I'll have to finish the rest in another video. So first I'm gonna get started Started with the green stalks that are just going to have potting mix and worm castings. Let's get started. So what I'm doing here is taking inventory of all the ones that I have that are empty or that are just sitting there with a little bit of potting mix in them or whatnot. So I'm going to organize them into rows of original tiers and leaf tiers. And you guys, you don't have to, but you can mix and match these however you want, depending on what you're growing, the colors you like and whatever, you know, just to think outside the tier a little bit. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so the reason I'm just using tiers instead of trying to do a quote unquote green stock is because right now my collard green stock has the terracotta original tier plus some leaf planter green tiers. And then I made a garlic green stock that's got four tiers. So I really just go by the tier rather than saying, okay, this has to be a seven or this has to be a five. I just do whatever I'm feeling at the time. You guys, these are beautiful no matter how you decide to use them. So just make sure that you're doing whatever works for you. If you want to put some on a table, if you want to shorten them, just don't make them too tall so that they don't fall over. 
All right, guys, so here's what we're looking at. I just took inventory. I've got 18 tiers that do not have anything growing in them and 26 tiers that still have food. So I'm gonna start with all of the ones that don't have food and see how I feel after that. This looks like a big job. Okay, I've got four tiers that still have some potting mix in them and I didn't use them throughout the winter. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with those and I'm gonna divvy up all of that into the empty ones so that all of them have just a little bit of the old potting mix. All right, let's take a few minutes to go back to the basics. What's recommended for green stalks and other containers is potting mix, not necessarily potting soil, in ground dirt, raised bed dirt, and those kind of things. Potting mix has some very particular ingredients. It's not magic. It's not that you can't make your own, but it comes ready, which is super convenient, and it's made to last a few months, and then you'll need to add some amendments. Now, a lot of people add amendments at the beginning, and I do that with my worm castings to add a little kick of nitrogen in there, and you can do it however you want. Just know that potting mix is kind of the go-to for these types of containers. And I always use organic just because I have to for health reasons. Well, I say it's organic, it's OMRI approved. And so that's as close as I can get to knowing that it's organic, but we don't always know what's in everything. I just do the best that I can because my body can't process toxins and I get really sick. You guys may have noticed my left leg is bigger than my right. It's all the way from the waist down. I have lymphedema related to cancer treatment. And so now things kind of get stuck in my body. I have have a whole video on how green stocks are saving my life if you're interested in seeing what I'm dealing with on a daily basis and kind of how I have to live. But anyway, so just remember potting mix. Now I'm going to do a few scandalous things here. Now what I've done here is perfectly fine because you can amend soil. So taking this old potting mix and adding some amendments to it, some fresh potting mix, it's going to be perfectly fine. But what you will see is that I'm going to use a couple other things that my dad had bought me. And one of them is actually a bag of raised bed or in ground soil all right you guys i'm out of breath just from that work on this tiny little incline you guys know i can't do a whole lot of manual labor i gotta do it in spurts so i'm gonna take a break and then i'm gonna come back put some stuff in the wheelbarrow and start mixing it up so i'll see you in a few minutes all right you guys i've been gone for a few hours had to get my foot put up and now i'm back for round two and here's silky oh. yeah you see the camera <laughs> All right, guys, I'm about to put a lot of stuff to use that I have. Let me show you before I get started ripping all the bags open. All right, so I'm about to put to use all this Carolina Gold Organics potting mix. I've got several bags of that. Now I've got this topsoil, but I'm gonna wait and use that for when I make my own potting mix in another video. And I've also got this miracle Grow Organic Choice Moisture Control Potting Mix with compost that dad got for me. So I'm gonna be unwrapping these, mixing them all up in this wheelbarrow, and then filling up all 18 of these. And remember, I still have 26 tiers that have stuff growing in them, and I'm gonna have to get those all cleaned out and amended. So I think all I'm gonna be able to do today is this. We'll see how far I get. I am not afraid to experiment and see how things turn out. If you're one that definitely doesn't wanna take a chance with anything, then just go with the potting mix. That's gonna be your best bet, and add a few amendments here and there. I have to interrupt this for this blooper. That made me laugh so hard. I thought I'd save myself a few steps with that heavy bag. <laughs> just missed my target and knocked that whole tier over and stuff went everywhere. <laughs> hey, I tried. All right, so here I'm mixing up the organic raised bed potting mix that my dad gave me. It sounds kind of weird to say raised bed potting mix, but anyway. Um, and also the organic, the North Carolina organics that I already had. And I'm kind of just, you know, doing half a bag and then the rest of the bag and just doing what I can to make it easier to mix up. Um, this was some hard manual labor. If you're not used to using a shovel and lifting heavy stuff, this was kind of intense for me. And so now I'm celebrating just a little bit because that was pretty difficult. And now I'm going to add some worm castings from Simple Grow. I get these from Greenstock and they are absolutely amazing. They're not going to burn your plants. You're not going to add too much. And I probably could have used more because I'm using so much fresh potting mix. I really didn't feel the need to add a lot more right now. And I can add some two or three months in. I know some people add it sooner than that. That's just been what worked for me. Now in the past, 
pretty much all I've used for everything has been potting mix that's organic plus the Simple Grow worm castings and it did great. I grew zucchini, tomatoes, um, cucamelons, lots of different leafy greens, long red noodle beans, all of that with just the worm castings. But you guys definitely do what you want to do and do your own research. I'm just telling you what worked for me. Another celebration because that was extremely tough mixing all that up with the worm castings. All right, so it's time to get down to business and fill up these original tiers and let's talk about some basics again. You wanna fill these all the way to the top and there is a line that they have inside these tiers that tells you how far to fill them. But the point is, is that once you water them or it starts raining and just over time, this stuff settles way down into these tiers. You need to have that soil up to the top. You want your plants to be able to get to the sunlight so that they can actually grow. So fill them all the way to the top. Don't pack it down too much with your hands, but I do pat it just a little bit. You know, it's kind of loose soil. So you want to make sure that you're doing your due diligence to make sure they're really full. Now, if you fill them too full, you're going to know because once you put those watering trays on there in between the tiers, you won't be able to get your tiers to snap together properly or to fit properly because there's too much dirt. So sometimes what I did, if that was the case, is I would just take some of the soil from the center that's around that hole and kind of push it into the pockets a little bit more just to make room for the watering trays. I was a little disappointed that all of this work only filled up five of the original tiers. Now they're pretty deep, but I'm gonna have to fill it again just to get my way through most of the original tiers. Now here's where we're gonna see how things go because this is raised bed soil by miracle Grow. It's organic and I'm about to put this in there with the organic potting mix that I have and the worm castings again. So this is going to be a completely different makeup. It's one that's not really recommended, but I'm going to try it anyway just to see how it goes. I do like the consistency of it. It doesn't have a lot of bark and sticks and different things in it. So I think it's going to blend really well. And hopefully the potting mix and worm castings that I add are going to do the trick. But we'll know if things don't grow very well. I just wanted to remind you guys that if you use my link in the description box and the code lolly10 that you can get 10 bucks off so if you need some worm casting some compost some supports another green stock whatever just something to think about now in my next video i'm going to be making my own potting mix Okay guys, I am not done, but I'm done. If you know what I mean, my body is saying that is enough and I gotta listen to it. Gotta get in, get my legs put up and all of that. But let me show you what I've done and I'll finish it up next time. All right, so I ran out about right here on this original tier, but I got like nine or 10 of these original tiers full. And that is a lot of potting mix, you guys. So I'm feeling pretty good. I got one more there. And then I have all the leaf tiers. The leaf tiers are a little bit smaller. So I'm hoping it doesn't take quite as much work or as much potty mix, but we'll just have to wait and see. I've got one thing to say. Woohoo! All right, guys, thanks for keeping me company and hanging out with me while I'm doing some work today. I hope you guys enjoyed our time together, and I hope that you are still busy creating a special garden space for yourself. I'll see you real soon in the next video. And until then, y'all have a great couple of days. Bye-bye.